If you're familiar with Western astrology, you probably read your horoscope every month. Brace yourself whenever Mercury goes retrograde and get excited each time your sun sign season rolls around. But while you might not know your natal chart like the back of your hand, you may be less familiar with your Chinese zodiac sign and how it reflects your personality. Find out what your Chinese zodiac is and what it says about your personality next on Desire to Share. Western and Chinese astrology differ in the time periods assigned to each sign. In Western astrology, the time is based on months, while in Chinese astrology, it's based on years. Still, the two share many similarities. Both types of astrology are like languages. For example, with Western astrology, people may say, I'm a Gemini or I'm a Capricorn. But with Chinese horoscopes, people usually say, I'm a horse or I'm a pig. Chinese astrology uses 12 different animal signs. These are the rat, the ox, the tiger, the rabbit, the dragon, the snake, the horse, the sheep, the monkey, the rooster, the dog, and the pig. All these animals have big reputations. Every Chinese lunar year, which usually runs from January or February of one year to the next one, correlates with a different animal sign. There are also elements that go through a two-year cycle alongside the animals. This means that every two years, the reigning animal sign also has an association with one of the five natural elements. The elements are earth, metal, water, wood, and fire. For example, 2023 is the year of the water rabbit. In 2022, the element was also water as it was the year of the water tiger. 2024 and 2025, the element will be wood. Because there are 12 signs and 5 elements, it takes 60 years for an animal sign and element combination to repeat. For example, the last time it was the year of the rabbit was 1963. The elements of each year can change the energy of the animal sign. So what does all this mean? Let's take the example of 2023, the year of the rabbit. Since rabbits are known to be very social, romantic and friendly, 2023 is going to be a big year for communication, relationships, and reconnection. By the way, if you are looking for your twin flame or a soulmate this year, check the links in the description. 2023 is the year of relationships and the stars have aligned in your favor. Click the links in the description to find your soulmate. Next. We explain what your Chinese zodiac sign says about you and what you can expect from the year of the water rabbit. Your main animal sign correlates with the year you were born and repeats on a 12-year cycle. However, you need to dig a little further to learn more about your Chinese zodiac sign. To begin, you can find out which animal you are by looking up your birthday in a chart. You can find the chart on our website by clicking the link in the description. However, just like charts in Western astrology, when you do your chart in Chinese astrology, there's an animal that corresponds to the month, day and hour that you were born. In addition to your year, when you look up your month or your hour, you can see shades of those other personalities within your character. 
For example, let's say you are born in the year of the ox, but at the hour of the rooster. This can explain a part of yourself that you didn't quite understand before. By the way, you can quickly find out your Chinese zodiac sign using the calculator on our website. Check the link in the description for this. How do the five elements affect Chinese zodiac signs? Each animal sign in the Chinese zodiac is associated with a fixed element, which has its own unique personality traits. For example, the rat, ox, and boa are all fixed water signs. The tiger, rabbit, and dragon are wood. The snake, horse, and sheep are fixed fire. And lastly, the monkey, rooster, and dog are all metal. However, the elements are constantly shifting every two years. This being the case, the element of your birth year dominates over the fixed element of your animal. For instance, the rabbit has a fixed element of food, but anyone born in this lunar year, 2023, will be a water rabbit since water is the element of the lunar year. The water element, which is the element of the year, will have the most impact on your personality than wood, which is the fixed element of the rabbit. The rabbit zodiac sign is assigned to people born in 1963. 1975, 1987, 1999, 2011, and 2023. Rabbits have great taste and are lovers of the fine arts. People born under this animal sign are also super friendly, sensitive, artistic, and even tempered. This makes them very popular with friends. This Chinese zodiac sign loves being around other people and hates being alone. As a result, they try to adapt in any social situation. Rabbits also love romance and are great in relationships. However, they are not into confrontation and go out of their way to avoid conflict. If you are born in the year of the rabbit, expect a chance to reconnect with past friendships and just enjoy the good life in 2023. Rabbits are known for enjoying the finer things in life, whether that's leisure time with loved ones or traveling to must-visit locales. Therefore, expect 2023 to be a year filled with adventure, frequent get-togethers, and growth. The tiger sign is assigned to people born in 1974, 1986, 1998, 2010, and 2022. The tiger is a dynamic, idealistic animal that is also extremely impulsive. If you're a tiger, you have a big personality, a huge ego, are a big procrastinator, and you really like to be right. Tigers also tend to have a lot of relationships and are very spontaneous and romantic. But even when they make a mistake, they don't really regret it. If they feel they are going into a situation where they are being treated with respect, they approach it with the perspective of, let's just try it out, and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. At least I tried. Rats are born in 1972, 1984, 1996, 2008, and 2020. Generally, rats are known for being very family-focused they'll stay close to home. If you are born in the year of the rats, you're also known for being very clever, funny, creative, and optimistic. But you're also very frugal. Rats tend to be super observant and are quick to take action. They also have loving friends and family around. Your charm and humor quickly help you win over other people and you're pretty good at fitting in no matter the situation.
If you were born in 1973, 1985, 1997, 2009, and 2021, you are an ox. Oxes are steady and loyal. This sign values honesty and integrity in people. They are also very persistent and aren't swayed by the opinions of others. Oxes don't need huge romantic gestures to feel loved. They are a big fan of cozy evenings at home. If you are an ox, you believe in hard work and dedication and like getting recognized for being awesome at your job. Just don't let that get you down if your office is in that kind of space. You know your worth, and if you feel underappreciated, it may be better to go someplace where you know you'll be valued. Dragons are people that were born in 1964, 1976, 1988, 2000, and 2012. The dragon is the most popular animal sign, as there's a baby boom every year of the dragon. This animal is associated with legends and is known for its strength and leadership qualities. People born in the year of the dragon are also super independent and love their freedom. This may explain why they tend to marry later in life, if at all. These people want to make a big impact on the world. However, they can get frustrated if their dreams aren't realized. Still, there's a lot they can do when they put their minds to it. This next sign is for people born in 1965, 1977, 1989, 2001, and 2013. Snakes are an interesting animal sign because their personalities are so mysterious to some, while to others, they're like an open book. Snakes are social when they want to be, but they also know when they just need some me time. If you are born in the year of the snake, you are also extremely determined and are great at making careful plans to achieve your dreams. While a snake's mysterious personality can make them seem aloof, when they let others get close to them, they see how sensitive, compassionate and funny the snake really is. People born in 1966, 1978, 1990, 2002, and 2014 are horses. Such people are generally known to have an adventurous spirit. They also have a reputation for living wild teen and young adult lives. So if you're a parent of someone born during the year of the horse, you better buckle up. Horses are also very bright. They are open cheerful, and naturally charm the heck out of people wherever they go. They love being around others and are always up to a good party. If you're a horse, you likely have strong opinions and aren't afraid to share them. However, this can turn people off sometimes. As a horse, you love feeling carefree and tend to succeed at whatever you try to achieve thanks to your amazing instincts. The sheep people are born in 1967, 1979, 1991, 2003, and 2015. If you are born in the year of the sheep, you are kind, empathetic, and naturally creative. You love beauty and like to surround yourself with it. You also know the importance of having some quality alone time and need those moments to recharge. While you are generally pretty mild-mannered and calm, you tend to have an independent streak. You don't like to be put in tough situations, but when push comes to shove, you can handle it. You also don't like to be told what to do and hate to compromise, and this can be a sticking point in relationships. Monkeys are people born in 1968, 1980, 1992, 2004 and 2016. Monkeys are known to be very clever. They are problem solvers and inventors. If you are born in the year of the monkey, 
You're also good at going after what you want. You have strong leadership potential and this makes others like you easily. However, you don't like to be told what to do and this can be tricky sometimes in group situations. You can also be playful and romantic in relationships but you may have trouble staying committed to one person because you are always looking for the next exciting thing. Those born in 1969, 1981, 1993, 2005 and 2017 are roosters. Roosters are known for being perfectionists. This can serve you well and frustrate you when things don't go your way. You also have a sense of duty, dignity and pride and like to be noticed. You hate blending in. Those born in this animal year are good at communicating, have great judgment and a strong work ethic. Because you strive for perfection, you hate wasting time or money. You are quick and flexible and can be thrown into situations at the last minute and still thrive. The dog sign is for people born in 1970, 1982, 1994, 2006, and 2018. As a dog, you are loyal, honest, and trustworthy. And this is why so many people love being in your circle. People born in the year of the dog don't hesitate to make sacrifices for people and ideas that they believe in. Moreover, they always see through the commitments that they make. If this is your animal sign, you are direct and frank and can't be bothered with silly little details. You also like to be spontaneous and love making last minute plans. However, you are a very by the book person and you prefer that other people do the same. Pigs are people born in 1971, 1983, 1995, 2007, and 2019. These people are kind, honest, and peaceful. As a pig, you hate arguments but won't hide your emotions even if it leads to a conflict. You're also optimistic, fun-loving, and generous with your friends. You quickly forgive when people screw up and are willing to make sacrifices for those you love. You go out of your way to make people feel at home and like to surprise friends with little gifts to show them how much you care. Finally, you also prefer to keep a close circle of friends who appreciate the kindness and love that you show them regularly. Chinese astrology is often used to assess the potential success of a couple. In the past, it's been looked at for matchmaking and unions. Some people even look at the dates two businesses were founded to see if they are compatible before pursuing a merger. Within the Chinese zodiac, there are four groups of animals that typically have an affinity for one another. These are the rat, dragon, and monkey, the ox, rooster, and snake, the tiger, dog and horse, and the rabbit, sheep, and boar. And which Chinese zodiac signs are least compatible? It's easy to tell which animals have conflicting relationships. All you have to do is look at a Chinese zodiac sign wheel. The animals that are right across each other are kept that far apart for a reason. For example, right across from the tiger is the monkey. Turn the wheel to the next year, which is the rabbit, and right across from it is the rooster. However, just because these signs are on the opposite side of the wheel doesn't mean they have opposing characteristics. In fact, the conflict often stems from everything they have in common. You know the saying, Oh, you guys are so much alike. How did you expect to get along? It's a different shade of a personality. So it's like you're either going to get along great, or you're going to hate one another. In Chinese culture, when opposite signs date, people often think they won't last that long. 
However, there's usually a mutual attraction. There's always a little bit of chemistry in your frenemy. There's something that draws you to each other to even want to have a disagreement. Therefore, it's not a surprise that in romance, people try it out, and often, it ends up failing spectacularly. We hope you've learned something about your personality based on the Chinese zodiac astrology. We've got a ton of resources to accompany this video, including a downloadable Chinese zodiac sign chart, a Chinese zodiac calculator, and resources to help you find your soulmate or twin flame. Find all of these in the description section. As we sign off, we send you all the light and love.